Fluent Interface for Selenium Custom Control In our last video, we discussed how we can implement or extend our custom controls in much easier fashion. And in this video, we're talking about Fluent Interface. In software engineering, a Fluent Interface is a method for designing object-oriented APIs based extensively on method chainings with goal of making the readability of the source code close to that of ordinary written prose, essentially creating a domain-specific language within the interface. So we have been talking about this domain-specific language or behavioral-driven development code, which is nothing but the BDD, which is kind of aligned within our framework itself already. Something like we always write our method or keywords in such a way that is more easily understandable, but just that our codes are not actually doing what it is meant to be. So Fluent Interface is going to close the gap because it's basically going to help us to create our framework or custom controls in such a way that we can actually make a domain specific language within the interface itself. And this is something coined by Martin Fowler and Eric Evans and it is actually taken from Wikipedia itself so you can even search for Fluent Interface and understand how it actually works. But we're not going to deep dive into this theoretical part, but we're going to actually implement that within our code. And some of the common Java Fluent Interface is this J-O-O-Q or otherwise called as Java Object Oriented Querying. You can search for that and you can understand how it's actually been written. But in our case, the code implementation that we're going to do is going to be something like this. As you can see in our previous video of this course, we actually use this link employee list dot click and driver contacts are wait for paste load wait for element visible and then we convert it to the custom control like lnk employee list dot wait and then wait for visible and then dot click method and that's exactly is going to be transformed into just one liner something like this as you can see it has the lnk employee list dot wait for visible dot click you can see that we are currently chaining our own custom controls so that we can make use of the domain specific language kind of coding or interfaces within our code so that the code is more readable and understandable and you can use this with any mix and match combination. For instance, if you want to click and then wait for visibility, then you can do that. And if you want to wait for visible and then perform the click, you can do this as well. So this is kind of chaining that we can do using this Fluent Assertion. So we are going to make changes to our existing code to support the Fluent interface by making changes to all the base implementation classes and declaration interfaces to have all the Fluent methods that we are looking for. That's really, really cool. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to IntelliJ IDE. In our last video, we made changes to our home page, something like this, using the custom controls like wait and wait for visible, and then we did the click. So what if we change this whole code in even more meaningful and understandable way so that it is going to make even more sense because currently for performing one simple operation which is nothing but waiting and then clicking we are trying to call three methods here so what if i want to do something like an employee uh, list dot and then wait for visible and then if i try to do a click something like this so that it can be even more sensible than just doing something like that so in order to achieve these kinds of behavior we actually need to use what is called as the fluent interface pattern. So basically we need to make changes to our code once again a little further so that it can be more readable and sensible. So as you know, all our codes are going to be basically returning a void type here. For the void type method, we cannot chain these kinds of operations that you are seeing here within this home page. So basically, these are all going to be of same type, only then you can see if you hit the dot, it basically going to bring all the members or method within the particular uh, method itself, right? So if I want to do that, these methods all should be of same member. So the same member, which is nothing but the same class that we can declare is basically the control base, right? So what if I try to return all of them like a control base? something like this over here 
and then I change all of them to return the control base so that the code makes even more sensible but we need to return the control base right so we need to use this return of this so that the code can start working like a chaining mechanism at least chaining mechanism so that the code is gonna work like what we are looking for so I have did that here but you can see that we are getting an error here and the reason for this error is even more meaningful because as you can see we have made all these methods written wide so we need to change this to control base here and then I'm gonna save it and now if you go to the home page here you can see that even if I hit dot the click is not gonna appear the reason is because you can see that within the hyperlink base that we have oops the hyperlink that we have is also returning the Y type so we need to change them to return the control base and the control base you need to first of all uh, import the class save and now if you go to the home page you can see that this code is currently legal super simple it is so you can see if I hit dot I can get all the different methods that I'm looking for over here so the click appears here and then if you want to wait you can do that and then if you want to wait for visible you can again do that and then you can do a clear if you want so you can do that and then you can keep on chaining but again if you do a clear you can see the C is small error so since the C is smaller which means the implementation is actually from web element but not from our custom control so it is limited that's the power of our custom control itself so if you are using our custom controls you can keep on chaining it and you can use the fluent interface pattern but if you use the restricted Selenium's own members then you cannot chain it because it won't return the custom control type and you can see that if I hit dot this time it's returning me as something like lambda but this is not what we are looking for but if you use the custom controls you can keep on chaining it as much as possible that's the real power of the chaining itself so as that said I can even delete this particular piece of code or maybe even this whole code that we have and then I can make use of just this one something like this that easy it is and then I can keep on moving further so now if I go back to my another control because we are keep on working on this one so if I go to the login page here so you can see that button dot click so basically this button click is button login is this one so I can even do something like wait for visibility and then perform a click operation but you can see that if I try to do a click it is not gonna work the reason is because if you go to the button here you can see it's all returning the Y type so I need to change all of these Y type back to control base so I'm just gonna do the control base here and then I'm do a option return you can see everything is fine and now if I go to the login page now if I do a click you can see that it is actually working so I can keep on chaining this and this chaining mechanism is otherwise called as fluent interfaces and I can keep on doing that here within our code and I can go to this employee feature once again and if I try to run this test this time as well the test is going to run without any problem and that's the power of our custom control itself within our code so you can see I guess it is going to spawn the browser right now there we go the browser is spawned and it is trying to enter the username and password and then it's creating, it's creating an employee list here that's cool so which means the test is also passing and the whole code is running fine without any problem and that's the power of our custom control so we can keep on extending our custom controls to handle all these different situations and we can get rid of all the different kinds of codes that we were writing for specific to this button base and also we can keep on chaining our code to have all the different operations that we need to do within one control into one liner so that the code is even more readable and understandable so that's it guys this is the extension of custom controls within our own framework and once again we have discussed everything within our mac operating system as well as 
the use case of how we can keep on extending our custom control and again you think like how you want to extend this custom control to be so that we can keep on adding some tidbits so that you can have even more understanding of the custom control and once again thank you very much for purchasing this course and have a great day